attack the skies with the quick charge power of Air Hogs E Chargers. Quick charge in seconds, fire up the engine, and watch it soar up to 100 feet. E Chargers have real engines for real power and real flight. You can rip through the sky with Air Hogs E Chargers. Air Hogs E Chargers, batteries not included, each sold separately from Spin Master. 360 Hover Blade. You can press the throttle and control it as it spins and flies high. The 360 Hover Blade flies in a circle around anything or anyone. You can make it do tricks and stunts. And it'll fly right back to you. You can fly it sky high. The 360 Hover Blade. Airhawks 360 Hover Blade. Each sold separately. Batteries not included. From Spin Master. Storm. Get ready for the action. A new stunt plane with Air Charger's engine. Start the propellers and train to amazing stunts. Adjust the stabilizer and unleash the air engine. Pump, then fly. High altitude flight and self-flying. Master the sky with Aerostorm from Top Secret Toys. Think you're ready to push the limits and take to the skies? The Airhog Sonic Plane puts the thrill right in your hands. It's all within this box, so let's begin. Inside, you'll discover one Sonic Plane, one remote control that also serves as a charger, and one instruction guide. Hey, before you can take to the skies, you need to charge up. Let's start by switching both the power control on the plane and the remote control to the off position. Unscrew the back of your controller and insert your batteries like so then screw back into place. Remove the charging cable from the remote control and insert the cable into the charge port on the sonic plane. Next, slide the power switch on the remote control to the on position. A solid green LED indicates your sonic plane is charging. When the green LED is off, your sonic plane is fully charged and ready for flight. Buckle up, this ride's gonna blow your mind. Remember, for the most epic flight, there are a few pro tips you wanna follow. Make sure to find a clear outdoor space that is free of trees and other obstacles. The plane flies best on days with little to no wind. We're almost ready for takeoff. Remember to hold the sonic plane evenly behind the propeller, like you would a paper airplane. Avoid tilting the plane up or down and keep your fingers away from the rotating propeller. Use your thumb to push the throttle up halfway on the remote control to get the motor going. Keeping the throttle near the middle will also help keep your plane level. This throttle zone is the sweet spot for a nice long flight. Release the plane horizontally to the ground and watch the plane take to the skies. Sliding the throttle up will cause the plane to travel towards the sky and begin to turn. If the throttle is down, or if you take your thumb off the controls, the plane will plummet to one tragic ending. Ouch! Let's take it and get it fixed up. A lightweight piece of scotch tape should fix things without adding too much extra weight to the plane. Okay, let's try this again. Once in flight, you can slowly begin lowering the throttle. This will result in one smooth landing. Sweet! Between flights, you should turn the plane off and check to make sure the propeller is free of debris. Remember, the plane is designed to fly in large circles. Adjusting the tail of the plane will change its flight pattern, and you'll be surfing the skies like a real top gun in no time. Great job flying out there today. Until next time, Air Hogs crew. New from Air Hogs, introducing the 360 Hoverblade. Inside the box are the following items. One 360 hover blade, one controller, two extra propellers, one propeller tool, one instruction guide, and one pre-flight checklist. Installing batteries. First, open the battery door with a screwdriver. Insert four AA batteries following the polarity as indicated inside the battery compartment. Then, replace the battery door securely. Here's how to charge your 360 hover blade. It is recommended to fully charge your 360 hover blade before your first use. First, 
turn off your 360 hover blade and the controller. Next, unclip the charge plug from the back of the controller and insert into the hover blade. Turn the controller on. A solid red LED light on the controller will turn on to indicate that it is charging. When both the red and green LED light are solid, charging is complete. How to fly your 360 hover blade? First, turn on the 360 hover blade and the controller. When the LED on the front of the controller turns solid green, you're ready to fly. The controller features a safety strap that you can place over your wrist if you choose. To take off with your 360 hover blade, you can either launch it from a flat surface or your finger using the provided finger space in the middle of the hover blade. Slowly push up on the throttle slider on the controller. The hover blade will start spinning in place and lift off. If you maintain throttle, the 360 hover blade will naturally move in a circular pattern above. Move the throttle slider up or down to increase or decrease altitude of the hover blade. Let go of the throttle slider to cut power. The hover blade will slowly spin back to the ground. Please note, the hover blade is ideal for both indoor and outdoor use, assuming there is minimal wind. The 360 hover blade is controlled by IR, like your TV. So try to point the controller directly at the 360 hover blade for the best performance. If your 360 hover blade isn't lifting off the ground, check to see if there's hair or debris caught in the propeller. If you do find hair, turn off the 360 hover blade and use the propeller tool. Wedge it between the propeller and the body. The propeller should pop off easily. Carefully remove it from the propeller and place the propeller on the hover blade. To replace the propeller, use the propeller tool. Wedge it between the propeller and the body. The propeller should pop off easily. Discard the damaged propeller and place a spare propeller on the hover blade. With the 360 hover blade, you can perform a number of fun tricks. Here's a few examples. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Under the leg. Boomerang. Behind the back. Spin it on your finger. To learn more about your 360 hover blade, refer to the printed instruction guide provided in the package. Oh, 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 oh,